if you're looking at moving uh, under tax reform unfortunately if you're an employee moving expenses are no longer deductible it used to be if you moved for for work and you're in, in an employee of a business if you moved over 50 miles to relocate, relocate to a new office or something, you got to deduct those costs of those of moving. Unfortunately, as an employee, that's not true, no, no longer deductible. As a, a business, though, it's still a deduction to relocate a business. So all of your costs of moving that business, any new furniture, packing up all the furniture, all of that is deductible if you're relocating a business to a new location. So that is something to factor into your costs because anything you're looking at you know, moving into a new site, maybe it's you're going from the suburbs into the heart of the city to get more talent or there's more, more client prospects there, uh, or you're moving the opposite direction out into a smaller area where rent's cheaper and you can get a big warehouse. Whatever that is, it's still deductible to relocate your business. So don't think that just because you heard that you can no longer deduct moving expenses under tax reform that you can't re deduct the moving of your business. So that's, that's the distinction there. And again, kind of the general theme under tax reform is there's a whole lot that you get as extra deductions as a business owner now uh, that, and, and a lot of the, the deductions as employees are going away. So that's the general theme with a lot of the tax reform. So uh, if you know someone who's thinking about relocating their business, tag them in the comments and we'll see you next time.